we've been working with Method Race Wheels for about a year and a half now on the 18 inch wheel to be the best wheel, the strongest, the most reliable, the most durable. We've been working with BF Goodrich tires and Method Race wheels for about a year and a half now on the 18 inch wheel and tire combo. It's something we put on the pre-runners to start out with just to get some miles. So now the pre-runners, they don't run quite as, as fast as the trophy trucks, but they are heavy and they also, you know, will pre-run three or four laps around a race course down in Baja. So that, that racks up the miles really quick. It was immediate that both my co-rider Duncan and I realized this is really good and we kept that kind of under our hats for a little bit. So we've been working with a lot of good guys over at Method, you know, Colby and, and Sean and Sean's our engineer and he's, he's been really great to work with along with our team, myself with the driver feedback and Max, our engineer, kind of working together, going back and forth on what we see and being analytical and looking at what's happening. Is the tire spinning on the wheel? What does the bead grip technology have to offer? You know, how strong is it going to be? Really one of my benefits of my job that I really enjoy the most is working with a lot of smart people throughout the industry. Really, I've got to learn a lot over the years and it's no different with Method. Bouncing back and forth with Sean and Colby and their team, you know, we really got to discuss quite a bit with some of the wheel geometry and even as deep as making sure our tire changes are quicker with their new geometry that they have around the bores for the lug nuts and stuff like that. The bead grip technology, you know, a lot of people saw in the uh, trucks, you know, there's no more bead lock and people are asking why and, and what's the case with that. I mean, off-road racing, we run maybe higher pressures than some other forms of motorsports. And with that, the engineers felt like the tire could stay on the bead without a bead lock. A bead lock is an opportunity for a leak. If you hit the bead lock ring with the rod or you shear off some of those bolts, you're likely to have a leak. We have now eliminated the bead lock, which has potential to eliminate more flat tire possibilities. Even with a 7,000 pound all-wheel drive truck, I pitched that thing sideways on the pavement, threw it into the main pit once just to see if I could pop it off the bead. And you can't really pop it off the bead. The other advantage to not having a bead lock is the weight. We no longer have the weight of the bead lock and we are able to put together a lighter wheel and tire combo. One of the major advantages to the bead grip technology is that it's actually given us an, the ability to have a single piece wheel design, which is less areas for failure. There's less areas to leak. It's an easier assembly method. There's less likely to have a bad bolt from a manufacturer come and cause a leak or a bolt get left loose. So along with the bead grip technology improvement, we've also moved to an 18 inch wheel. There's a few different advantages with that. One, there's now less tire sidewall for flex in the tires. And as you're going and you're going through the bumps, you can see the tires deflect and move. And that's obviously messing up toe and all those geometry things that you've worked really hard on. So now with an 18 inch, a bigger wheel and the same size tire, there's less sidewall. So there's less sidewall flex and less deflection movement. Overall, that has resulted in a better handling truck you don't feel like the truck's rolling over as much. So you can drive it more confidently in the corners and out of the corners. And obviously the biggest advantage in my opinion is the brakes, uh, bigger brake packages because these trucks are heavy. We're going a lot faster. So if we can go from the zero to 90 in, in a lot quicker now and we can stop a lot quicker, I think that's a bigger advantage. You know, all us gearheads, we love horsepower. Horsepower, horsepower, how fast can the truck go? Well, just as important as how fast can you stop your truck? How late can you brake? How far can you drive your truck into the turn to brake as late as possible and still make that turn in a clean manner? Luke and I have always been into the data analysis. It's always weighed heavily in our decisions. We don't really make any decisions without really proving the data out. Driver feel and feedback's always a major component in our data. Really the tail is in the tape and the numbers and when we were able to take these tires out and compare them to our 17 inch wheels, we did see significant cornering speed gains both through the corner and exiting the corner. It goes right along with what Luke and Dan both have felt with the truck. Yep, yeah, and that's where I feel that bike and pull. The, eight, the 18 are faster. I think it's safe to say the 18 is faster than the 17 straight up. Having a forged wheel, so any porosity is kind of eliminated through the process. Any potential for failures showing up to your shop brand new. Not only is this wheel pushing the envelope and making the geometry better and handling of the truck better, but the fact that it is a forged wheel is a big deal. 
at the end of the day to be the best wheel, the strongest, the most reliable, the most durable, and part of the face of the development to method is really something awesome and unique.